this seems to have worked. A slightly makeshift uh, gear pulley system. Now that's taken the um, I'll take it apart for you. Basically it's uh, I assume it's heat shrunk on or you know warmed up and then bashed on. But, um, I put a bit of uh, I haven't reheated it I was thinking about that but I've got a blowtorch so uh, that's the uh, the original piece that was sitting on there um, oh I did it was I had a bit of a uni strut as you can see and that sat underneath so it, it, I managed to get it to sit over under there if you see what I mean which was underneath the the, uh, the, the uh, spigot uh, and then um, really I needed a double piece but uh, I managed to bolt this together so this didn't didn't move but I mean if you've got a larger uh, the, the thicker Unistrate it, it would work as well um, and and then just uh, tighten down so effectively that bolt uh, pushed down on the top there and this this lifted uh, the uh, the thing so it's a puller <laughs> really homemade puller but it seems to have worked it's made a slightly noise a few bangs and crashes I used a bit of uh, WD-40 on there but as I said I didn't use any heat on it I didn't have a heat gun uh, a, a flame gun or anything but it's pulled it off so that's that's off so the next Give it, give it a clean up. I printed the the bag of bits here. Oh, I had an idea. Oh, here Bit of a messy bench. Sorry about that. I printed the the pulley. Um, and I'm not sure if that's going to fit at the moment, but uh, yes, it does. So that'll fit in. Put that way around, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to put it on just completely at the moment because I'm just going to clean that up. But uh, and that that should uh, should work. So uh, let's just connect it to the power for a second. Should have uh, and uh, as you can see, that's moving. So, so far, so good. This is the uh, ZY618, which I got off eBay for £18, I think. So let's, uh, let's take that back off again for a minute. Turn the power supply off. That will sit in. This is a, a PTG um, filament, so we're doing quite well. I, I, was, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get that off, but it was uh, wasn't too bad in the end. Bit of brute force. So that's uh, that's the motor. Um, I've printed two of these now. These these uh, bodies, as you can see, I printed the. Um, that's the drive wheel. Uh, these are the, the rear uh, wheels. There's the, the nylon pieces in there. Uh, I've run out of metal spindle, which I've ordered, but I haven't got at the moment. So, because uh, I used it all on 
uh, all the spindles I've bought, I've used it on there. I've ordered, um, I've ordered some, so hopefully that will arrive in a few days. Um, printing on the machine that you can hear, I'll show you, is some more of the nylon feet for the uh, for the drive wheels. Uh, so that's that was a success. So I've only bought one um, motor for the time being uh, to to see how it works. I've got to also buy the um, the interface, the the body interface for this as well, uh, which I which I've been looking into. But we'll, we'll look at that in another uh, another video. But uh, if I can get all this working, get at least one uh, wheel assembled. The next thing I've got to do is print the uh, the drive belts which will be quite interesting which is probably what I'll try and do over the weekend so that's uh, I'm quite pleased I haven't got that far so that's it for the minute okay so I've given it a bit more clean up and put the uh, put the pulley on there so this is four mil nut and it's the first time I've done this so hopefully this will work it's probably going to be too long now got some shorter uh, that's a 10mm bolt. Oh, that's, that's held it in perfectly actually. Just looking at the, uh, at, the, at the PDF drawing while I'm doing it. But uh, I think that's about right. It might have to go on a little bit further but we'll see how it lines up in the whole assembly. Uh, I might have to just push that back down a, bit, uh, a little bit more but so that's, that's bolted on. So it's taken off that old one. There's a couple of very thin little splines on the shaft which I think that would have been hammered onto so that's what it was holding. You can just see the two little notches at the bottom there. You can probably see them. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there are. So um, on on this shaft, there's a couple of little um, out, you know, sort of little outward notches. So that would have smacked onto the top of it. So that's that's why it's difficult to pull off. But uh, it wasn't too hard in the end once I sort of worked out how to do it. Um, so that's that done. Okay, and we'll move on. Okay, so I've got this assembled now. Um, I've bolted it in couple of uh, bolts in through there and, and the nuts in there. I've got the um, the square washers, uh, square nuts in there. I'm just holding them in with a bit of uh, tape. Just jammed them in a bit. Partly assembled this piece. Uh, there's bolts in there. There's again square nuts in there. Take that bolt. The square nuts. Give it that in so you can see it. The square nuts in the end of those two. So this hold holds that bit in. Another one in there. So this should sit in there. There we go. Bump magnetized around the moment, just to have a note that. That'll, that'll sit in like that. There's a bit of uh, movement either way to, I assume, to tension the belt. And underneath you can see the back of the two um, uh, nuts in there. So you put a couple of bolts in there, I'm assuming, and you can lock it off. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. So I'll just go off camera and I can uh, take all that apart. Just taking it apart slightly. I'd, um, 
had trouble just getting these two uh, nuts in in there it's just because you can't really get in there to clean out the uh, any plastic in there but I managed to uh, drill them out uh, this way and uh, there was a slight bit of plastic in the back there stopping the, uh, the nut going I managed to get them in they're quite tight so hopefully they won't be an issue those two I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working and see if I can clean out that because uh, you can't really as I say I can't get the screwdriver in there properly to sort of get any muck out just on this side but um, I'm gonna keep working at that just putting together the uh, side panels uh, which seem these are the ones that uh, come printed on a complete uh, base which you've got to peel off um, and they're all uh, that's all held together with uh, filament locked into the little holes so uh, there's two of those so that's I haven't glued that together yet but that's that's the, one of the large doors there's another one and uh, this one I'm just gonna get the, the pieces of filament in and uh, and those two and stick those together so this one's ready to glue together so I'm going to do that in a minute uh, as you can see I'm also printing lots of uh, feet pieces 